Now, as the title suggests, power lifting is stupid, but not for the reason you might think. Power lifting is stupid is a form of training. As a sport, do what you want with your body, compete however you want. But using power lifting techniques and exercises for the sake of improving your physical capacity or improving your strength, muscular size, or functional ability is stupid. Why? Because the goal of power lifting is not the same as the goal of exercise. The goal of power lifting is to move within the constraints of the competition's rules as much weight as you can possibly move. That is the goal of powerlifting. The goal of exercise, nobody's gonna let me over, the goal of exercise is to stimulate improvements in muscular strength size and all of the other supporting factors of functional ability. Now where powerlifting goes off the rails and becomes stupid is that there is a lot of poor exercise form being used with powerlifting and a lot of misunderstood um, exercise methodologies. So for instance, here's a big one. A lot of power lifters believe that the deadlift is a pulling exercise. The deadlift is a pushing exercise. So a lot of the times you'll hear a power lifter say, oh, I pulled 415 today for eight reps. You didn't pull anything. You pushed 415 with your glutes, hamstrings, quads, and lower back. It's a lumbar extension exercise as well. You push that much weight. It's just you held the weight with your hands out in front of you, giving the illusion of a stupid person to a pull. But in reality, the deadlift is a pushing exercise. So a lot of power lifters don't have a goddamn clue what they're talking about to begin with. There's a good example. So when they start recommending exercises for the sake of improving functional ability, they got their head up their ass for the most part. Because power lifting exercises in the way they're performed, which is with uh, short rep ranges, generally one to five, huge amounts of momentum, poor form, holding your breath, using way too much weight, this is a very bad way to improve, although it will improve muscle size and muscle strength, it will almost certainly do so with an accompanying injury. So keep that in mind too. If you're choosing a training methodology, say whatever, bodybuilding, crossfit, powerlifting, yoga, which is an exercise, you need to take into consideration the safety of the methodology because you want to be able to train long term. So say you improve your muscular strength and size within six months and then you get a lower back injury or a knee or a hip injury and you're out for, for 12 months then that six months of effort to improve your physical capacity literally reversed the process. You ended up with a lower physical capacity by reducing an injury. A lot of people do not take into account the safety of an exercise approach or an exercise methodology because they're too obsessed with getting gains quickly. It makes more sense to choose a safer approach and get gains over a longer period of time, rather than even if it were true, the gains would come more quickly with a high risk of injury, that would not make much sense. So powerlifting as a sport, sports um, come with the assumption of risk of injury. You assume the risk of a potential injury when you do a sport. And keep in mind, powerlifting is a sport. It is not a training program. Some people mistakenly use it as a training program. So if you'd like to do powerlifting for the sake of competition, great. If you're doing it for the sake of improvements in muscle strength and growth, you're wrong and you're stupid. And you should try a different approach.